So now let's see how we can work around with spectral delete mode inside of Audacity. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to import out an audio. And to do that, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to import and select audio. So now I'm going to go around and then import out this audio right here. And if I were to play this, this is how it is heard. So now what I'm going to do is in order to work around with the spectral delete option, I'm going to go around right here on to the options menu and then I'm going to select spectrogram right here. So if I were to expand this, you can see that there's a lot of low hertz right here uh, on this audio. So if I were to press play. So let's say what I want to do is I want to delete off the lower hertz right here. So I'm going to press control A on my keyboard and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select off this part. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, press control A right here and use this line right here to expand out the selection. I can go around and then uh, use the little line right here, press control A, little line to click and drag this around and then use the little line to uh, like select the upper hertz or the lower hertz right here. And as I move, you can see that the selection ranges changes as well. So I want to select the lower hertz right here. Let me just increase out the selection as well. Bring this down right here, increase out the selection. And this is what you have, as you can see. So now I want to delete this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into uh, effect. And then what you can do is you can delete out that. So I'm going to go around onto spectral delete. And then what happens is that it deletes off that portion, as you can see, it deletes the selection. So if I were to go ar around and press the space bar, you hear only the higher frequencies and not the lower frequencies. You can also select out like in a like certain part right here, click and drag it. And if you want to delete it, you can go to effect and then click on spectral delete. And what happens is that that portion is deleted as you can see. And that is how you can work around with spectral delete option inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.